Hunting season is over. This video was something I made two or three weeks ago, and I've been really trying to tell myself whether to upload or not, and I finally decided two of these clips are something I really want to share because it was really good footage with this DSLR, as well as two pretty nice bucks for around the area I'm hunting. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed these few clips. In the last video, I shot that really nice 8 point with my Savage Axis 243, and since that time, the waters continue to rise and all that land is under, so we've been hunting behind the house quite a bit. Now, I saw a really nice 5 point the other day. I thought about shooting it, but then I thought to myself a little bit more, and I said, Olivia's going to be coming up here. This would be an excellent first buck for her. The rack was very large for a 5 point and the bases of those horns here were just really thick, much thicker than the eight point I shot. So when she came up, I told her, you're gonna shoot a deer today. So when we went back there, I thought that five point was gonna step out, but it didn't. At about 5.15, an eight point stepped out, and it was a very nice and large deer. It had a beautiful rack on it, very symmetric. The only thing was, it was about 100 yards away, 100 yards plus. It was a difficult shot, especially for someone that hasn't hunted before. And with that 243, you nail the deer in the shoulder, otherwise you risk the chance of it running off. And that's exactly what happened. It looked like in the video she hit just behind the shoulder. And unfortunately, we thought it may have been a heart shot, but we can't find blood, we can't find a carcass. I've searched for hours and I can't find anything. So that's the reason I'm gonna to switch to the 270 today, just to see how it fares compared to the 243. Basically, that concludes the end of the season. Not much else happened, but if you enjoyed those clips, there are going to be some more again next year, as well as possibly even some hog hunting this spring if we can get in with a little bit of a cold front. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very quick video, and if you did, please make sure to share, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.